what this video is directly about is the 10 millimeter sidearm or IE handgun versus the 40 caliber Smith and Wesson. Now as an example what I've got here and I can see I'm bumping cameras and spilling things all over but now this is my 10 millimeter auto. Now what a lot of people don't understand about this is a Glock by the way a Glock 20. I'm holding this up so you can see it. It's real right there. It's in it's uh, tooled in right there on the side of this piece. But this 10 millimeter auto was the forerunner, if you will, of this jobber right here. Now, as an example, this is my Stoger 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. This is made by Beretta, by the way, but it's, it's, it's sold by a company called Stoger because they have a, a plant in Turkey. Now, if you ever get a chance to pick up one of these, don't be afraid of this, because this is a pretty good little piece. I've ran quite a few rounds through this doggone thing. But anyway, bottom line, yeah, this is a Beretta Cougar. The parts are interchangeable. But this is, like I say, a, what they call a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. Okay. And if I fail to say that, that's exactly what a 10 millimeter auto is, this Glock. It, it, it's 40 caliber. But let me let me show you something here real quick, like if I can keep stuff steady enough. Okay, here here's a box right here. These are 180 grain. Uh, what are they? Jacketed hollow points there. And here's a box of 10 mil, some good old full metal jacket, 10 millimeter rounds. I don't know if you can read that or not. I have to do this stuff kind of backwards and sideways to my camera. I bought these because they're relatively cheap. But what I wanted to point out, let me do this as carefully as I can. Let me grab up a couple of rounds. Here, here is two, if you will, two 40 Smith & Wesson rounds. And right here is two 10 millimeter rounds. Now, I didn't, I should have measured these with a set of calipers, but let me take two of these out of the equation here. You can see it better. And right hand side here, this brass colored cartridge right here, this is 180 grain full metal jacket, 10 millimeter auto, which is 40 caliber. This right here is 180 grain full metal jacket, 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, okay? But if, if, if you can see this, I, like I say, I should have measured these, but these car, this cartridge right here, this 10 millimeter, is about 20% longer. It's the same caliber, but it's longer, if you will, than this Smith & Wesson, or what 10 millimeter freaks call short, short and weak. Years ago, in the, you know, there was a company that come out with this 10 millimeter. I was explaining this in another one of my videos. That is, they come out with what they call the, I think they were over in Sweden or something, but they come out with what they call the Bren 10, which is the 10 millimeter. And this round would have died out if it wouldn't have been for cold firearms that come along and revived it back in the early 80s. And they come out with a cold Delta lead. And of course, there's few, you know, when this thing first come out, the FBI, the CIA and everybody just jumped on this cartridge, but the problem of it was with agents that had two small hands and females and all you women out there don't get mad, but people in general are having trouble handling this coming out of a semi-auto loader. So they, Smith & Wesson seen that and they jumped on this, shortened this up. This is actually a 10 millimeter, if you will, but they shortened this round up you know, and a little less powerful, a little less kick, and all that kind of stuff. So that is, that is basically it in a nutshell. That's what I've got to say today. You know, a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson is uh, an offspring, if you will, of the 10 millimeter auto. And that's just all there is to it. I got a couple of clips here. Here's the one that came out of the, let's see, this one come out of the Stoger right there. And this guy right here come out of the out of the Glock 20. So there you are. That's that's the big difference. Same caliber, but except for the 10 millimeter auto, it's got a longer case, therefore holding more gunpowder. 
And by the way, while I'm thinking about this, a 10 millimeter is a far cry from that miserable 9 millimeter. I'd never go out and buy a 9 millimeter. I had one years ago, ended up hating it, and it was in a model 92F Beretta too. So that's your big difference right there in these two particular sidearms right here, you know. Uh, the 40 caliber Smith & Wesson or short and weak isn't got near as much power as this 10 millimeter auto. It's just that simple. 10 millimeter auto came first. And then the offspring of that was this was this uh, uh, 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. So that's a little history lesson for you. That's about all I got to say about this subject. Video's way too long the way it is. Thank you very much for watching.